This page is about Lagrange reversion. For inversion, see Lagrange inversion theorem. In mathematics, the Lagrange reversion theorem gives series or formal power series expansions of certain implicitly defined functions, indeed, of compositions with such functions. Let V be a function of x and y in terms of another function f such that V equals x plus y f v display style v equals x plus y f v then for any function g for small enough y g v equals g x plus k equals 1 infinity y k k x k minus 1 f x k g x Display style G V equals G X plus sum underscore K equals one carrot and T frac Y carrot K K left frac partial partial X right carrot K one left F X carrot K G X right. If G is the identity, this becomes V equals X plus k equals 1 infinity y k k x k minus 1 f x k Display style v equals x plus sum underscore k equals one carrot inf t frac y carrot k k left frac partial partial x right carrot k one left f x carrot k right in 1770, Joseph Louis Lagrange (1736–1813) published his power series solution of the implicit equation for v mentioned above. However, his solution used cumbersome series expansions of logarithms. In 1780, Pierre Simon Laplace (1749–1827) published a simpler proof of the theorem, which was based on relations between partial derivatives with respect to the variable x and the parameter y. Charles Hermite (1822–1901) presented the most straightforward proof of the theorem by using contour integration. Lagrange's reversion theorem is used to obtain numerical solutions to Kepler's equation. Topic: <laughs> Simple proof. We start by writing g v equals delta y f z minus z plus x g z 1 minus y f z d Z display style G V equals int delta Y F Z Z plus X G Z one Y F Z D Z writing the delta function as an integral we have G V equals EXP I K Y F Z minus Z plus X G Z one minus Y F 
Z D K two Pi D Z equals N equals zero infinity I K Y F Z N N G Z one minus Y F Z E I K X minus Z D K two Pi D Z equals N equals zero Infinity x n y f z n n g z one minus y f z e i k x minus z d k two pi d z display style begin aligned g v and equals i i n t e x p ik y f z z plus x g z one y f z frac d k two pi d z ten p t and equals sum underscore n equals Zero carrot inf t i i n t frac i k y f z carrot n n g z one y f z e carrot ik x z fra c d k two pi d z ten p t and equals sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t left frac partial partial x right carrot n i i n t frac y f z carrot n n g z one y f z e carrot ik x z frac d k two pi d z end aligned the integral over k then gives delta x minus z Display style delta x z and we have g v equals n equals zero infinity x n y f x n n g x one minus y f x equals n equals zero infinity x n y N F X N G X N minus Y N plus one N plus one G X F X N plus one minus G X F X N plus one Display style begin aligned G V and equals sum underscore N equals zero carrot inf T left frac partial partial X right carrot N left frac Y F X carrot N N G X one Y F X right ten P T and equals sum underscore N equals zero carrot inf t left frac partial partial x right carrot n left frac y carrot n f x carrot n g x n frac y carrot n plus one n plus one left g x f x carrot n plus one g x f x carrot n plus one right right end aligned rearranging the sum and cancelling then gives the result g v equals g x plus k equals one infinity y k k x k minus one f x k g x d 
Display style G V equals G X plus sum underscore K equals one carrot inf T frac Y carrot K K left frac partial partial X right carrot K one left F X carrot K G X right. <laughs> <laughs>